एवरीवन टुडे इज द डे बिफोर विशु थैंक्स मदर एंड आई एम इन केरला सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी विशु चंदा यूजुअली वी डोंट डू दिस बिकॉज़ इट्स सुपर क्राउडेड एवरी सिंगल टाइम एंड इट्स नॉट वेरी इट्स नॉट अ ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस फॉर समवन हु हु हैज टू डू इट एवरी सिंगल ईयर बिकॉज़ इट्स रियली रियली क्राउडेड बट दिस टाइम आई थॉट आई विल गो अगेन uh and just film everything i've only done this once before and it was with all my cousins this time it's just me and my mom yeah so let's do that it's supposed to be a very sunny day but unfortunately i don't think it's going to be a sunny day it rained like crazy yesterday it was a storm and it was really bad pepper was scared the whole time i just hope that today is not like that cuz Today is supposed to be a nice, pleasant day, so that we can bust crackers later. Yeah. In fact, this was right before we left, and people had already started bursting crackers. Cause well, that's all about the day before. We will have a lot of fun. That's the whole plan. Poti ke, poti ke, poti ke na. Aiva. Thank you. Now back to the video. The whole point of the day before Vishu is to get stuff that you have to make your Vishu Kani with. Vishu Kani is the thing that you see first thing in the morning on the day of Vishu. You would have seen that in my Vishu vlog. So that's what we were to get. Now this thing that you see right now is called a Kani Chutney. You have to buy one every single time. That is every single year you have to buy a new one. You can see all the Vishu themed things. There is Lord Krishna statues everywhere. So many vegetables and fruits because, like I said, the Vishu Kani. That's the whole point of Vishu. You are supposed to see it, and it will be all all auspicious, all filled, and that's how your whole year is supposed to be. Now usually you don't have to buy the jackfruit because you'll have it home. But the jackfruits at our house will only we come ripe towards the end of summer so we had to buy one anyways and my mom went out to buy fruits like apples oranges grapes and everything cuz we really don't have any of that at home kerala weather does not support some stuff like that so yeah we had to get that from the market so after getting all the things that we needed we set out through the middle of the town the reason why we did that is because well we wanted to see how crowded it is but To our surprise it wasn't that crowded cuz mainly the shopkeepers said that the crowd was really there around like in the morning and the afternoon by the time we went a lot of people had already gone home so it wasn't that crowded even then you guys can actually see the number of people who are just standing obviously we did not want to go in that and meddle with all the people there cuz well you guys surprise surprise covid still exists and we did not want to you know mess with that so yes you guys can still see that there are these small small vishud chandas like small market street sellers that come only during these main festivals uh, onam and vishu in kerala so yeah you can you guys can see that you know people are surrounding them to buy stuff for cheap uh, and just you know have a good vishu and after all the shopping we felt like we needed a much needed ice cream break so mom and i we went to have ice cream and soon after that we went back home to random people bursting crackers and i took obviously i obviously took the videos of that since it was just my mom my grandmom and my dad and i we didn't have actually have a lot of crackers and stuff to burst even though we really wanted to cuz it's just us so we directly went on to setting up our kani and here is my mom uh, graciously uh, setting up the kani because well yeah she's an expert in all this and this is what happened My memory of Vishukani takes me really back to my childhood. Uh that is when I was probably like in third grade or even lesser. That was the most fun I've had with Vishu and Vishukani and everything. Especially one particular day that is the night before Vishu. I don't know how old I was, but there was this incident when uh four of my cousins, my dad's side of the cousins, uh we were on top of this um chiku tree. 
and then it was such a pleasant evening it was great we were literally sitting on top of the chiku tree we uh, climbed it using a ladder actually because the branches were too high up so we were just chilling there and then suddenly there was this huge uh, change of weather it was just windy and like there was like hurricane kind of feeling and the sky literally turned purple and we ran for our life one by one we came down the came down the ladder and then our moms came out they were you know making unni appams inside the kitchen and our moms came out they tried to you know get us safely back into the house uh, and literally one of my cousins maya she would have almost gotten hit by a big coconut <laughs> and i don't know how that would have turned out but honestly that is the funniest and the most craziest memory i have of the night before vishu and those were the days honestly cuz all the cousins we were all young right now we are all in different parts of the world literally in different parts of the world back then we were all together we'd always come together for vishu and onam this was one of those times where we were all together again so that's really grateful and i'm sure you watched it already in the vishu vlog so yeah this is how our kani looked finally so pretty and we i couldn't thank my mom enough a few moments later this is so pretty Focus. Peppers are annoyed because like crackers. It is in times like this I really wish that my little sister was with me. Vamika, she would have really enjoyed doing this with me. Uh, yeah, but she wasn't. She had got her mom's place. But still, I tried to enjoy on my own. I did. I really did. So this is supposed to happen on... I know you can't hear me. Sorry, I'm right. I literally cannot see the camera. All I can see is a blue light because I just lit this. So this is over, and we have more stuff inside. So the day before Vishu, we were supposed to light a lot of crackers and stuff like that, so that you know, it's like saying bye bye to the last year, right? So that is the concept. So we say bye bye to the last year and tomorrow we welcome the new year. That's the whole point. But since I'm just lonely here, it's just my grandma, me and my dad, none of my cousins are here now right now. We're all going to meet up tomorrow. I'm going to fast forward this Vishu night vlog to um 16th of April, which is one day after Vishu. Uh yeah. because that's when my other set of cousins are coming so that day we were actually planning to light more crackers and stuff so fast forward to that day two days later me sad is the realization that hit me uh, basically when i was a kid this is all so much fun even if i was completely alone which i was for a lot of issues cuz well i'm a, i'm a single child uh, it used to be so much more fun cuz i was always so hyped up about all the crackers and the colors that come we never used to like burst crackers we always had these tiny things like you know the chakram and the pukuti and all that but I think now it's simmered down so much and that makes me really sad. I thought the child in me would never like you know hide uh, but guess it did but it's okay I will bring back the spirits.
all together i'm just really grateful that i got to do this with my family the last two years we were not together at all for any festival i had to literally spend my wishu all alone here in bangalore and i was just really grateful to go back home go back to kerala and be with my family for wishu i know that a lot of people are still not fortunate enough to do that and yeah i'm just not going to take anything for granted at this point even though my whole feeling of my inner child hi- playing hide and seek with me was still going on and was still there and i was a little disappointed about how the cracker thing was not you know as exciting as it was for me uh it's fine i think in the end of the day it's all about how much time i spent with my family how many stories we all exchanged that's what really matters to me and i hope that your festivals be it vishu or anything else are as wholesome as it was for me so yeah that is the end of the vishu vlog or the night of vishu vlog so thanks for watching you guys bye bye